Hey guys, Waller D here. We're back for more Act Razor, and if you recall, we were still doing stuff in Itos. Uh, so far we had a person die. So far we had to strike rocks with lightning, and also the male leader of this place happened to get injured. Fuck. So yes, this place is already throwing a lot of shit at us. Luckily, our ma our helper angel is gonna do shit for us, like build help us make a road going north. And like I said before, the enemies here seem to be a little bit more hostile than usual. Like for one thing, thank you, Burp. Uh, for one thing, the um, they love to just like come by and destroy your houses when you aren't looking or aren't too focused on your town. And they will be very diligent of just walking up there and bitch slapping a house or two. God, only little pests. Why don't you just go bug some other place? Maybe, maybe there's just some people in the mountains that you don't know about. But nevertheless, I'm just going to clear a tree to this nice little place, and then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to clear a path to this other place, and great, now they're not moving anymore. It's like, as soon as I'm looking at them, like, oh, we're too scared to do something. Yeah, we're just going to wait until you're not, you're totally unaware of what's going to happen. Yeah, wh watch me just come down here, look at this. Wait, what the hell? Game just kind of locking up there, because I really thought I did all that earlier, but maybe I was just being so diligent in the lightning bolts that the game couldn't keep track of it. la di da 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 that's what you give for not moving. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. You guys are gonna move, right? God, I swear these enemies are just now, like, fucking with me. It's like, oh, yeah, we were being all aggressive earlier, but you know what? Taking a break. Yeah, so I guess while the monster take- Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, level up! HP 18, sweet. And looks like you need a population of- Damn, 2,000 or 2,500? Okay, I can handle that. And my power is gone, and people are bugging me, what? What? My master, this year, our ranch has some horses. Okay, great. Do I- I mean, does this help me in any way? Do, can I, like, kick some ass? Nope. Guess not. So, yeah, basically, uh, they will actually go... Oh, and there they go. Jeez, guess they're done having their damn coffee. Fuck you, dick. Oh, no. Mm-mm. <clears throat> okay, and if you get to this point where these guys are just starting to eat bars and pests, use a bomb to kick their ass. And I think I'm gonna start building stuff, like a road to kick this thing's ass, and then I'm gonna move it up over here, and then we can start kick- or start getting to the next action scene, which I'm pretty sure you all are looking forward to. Gosh, Town Under Construction is always this nice little stop everything action, fuck yes. Do 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 so. Oh, no, no, we're not doing this shit again. Stop. So yeah, as you can see, the lightning dragons get really, are fairly aggressive. If you, if they're basically, uh, not, if there's no town under construction, they're gonna be moving right to kick, uh, like, a house's ass or two. So you gotta be, you gotta be diligent checking on them. And great, what they need now. Let's see. Oh, master, the wind is gone. Without the windmills won't work. Would you please cause the wind to blow, please? Yeah, and if you don't do this, guess what? The town won't build itself, so you're gonna have to do this. And this is pretty much the... Oh, wait, what? Damn, people. Even, even in a dilemma known as the windmills not blowing, you still are fucking things up. Fuck yes. Okay. <laughs> of course, he didn't kill the damn lightning dragon sitting above it. Oh well, I guess it's my job. Master, he found a strange bow and arrow, some arrows, so yes, another strength of angel for you. Good. Okay, but as you can see, uh, monsters being fucking douchebags. That's all I can say about this. But before you do anything else, you're going to use the wind spell for the only time in this game, possibly. You would use this normally if you don't have any bombs to use to kill all the enemies, and it will count like as a bomb light, but as soon as you blow them off the screen, they reappear, so it's kind of like, well, did I really do anything with this? So you're going to have to use this to start the windmills, and start have the people start building the town up, because if you don't, fuck. Okay, and I think I've 
I have a better building idea, actually. Hmm. First off, gonna strike some lightning on these houses, or these tr not houses, you could, but that'd be kind of mean as hell. It's like, oh, guess what, I don't like the look of your house, it's just too pink for my nature. Kills it. Okay, so I'm gonna build this path up here, to leading to this mountain over here, because that's gonna cause something important to happen, like you getting a nice new, uh, nice new scroll and whatnot. Not that kind of scroll, but you know what I mean. Come on, people, build a path, build a path. Man, guys are slow-ass builders. Whatever. So yeah, as, when you get to this point, basically, which I'm gonna graciously speed up for you guys, you do what, people? What do you need? What do you need? My master, we have now refined the mount our mountaineering skills. The mountains hold many unseen mysteries. If you inform, we inform you if anything is discovered. So yeah, basically, you're gonna watch this action over here to the northeast. You're gonna see this guy slowly climb up the mountain, but this guy might distract me from protecting the village, but he's just so freaking cool, I love him. Okay, you're, you're still sitting there. Yeah, you keep going, man. Take care of them ledges. You're still there. Come on. Come on, you can make it. You're only halfway there. Still there. Come on, guy. Yeah. Uh oh, yeah. So it looks like this is what happens when he gets up a good distance up the mountain. He somehow brings news that they found the scroll in the mountains northeast of here. Though he's still on a damn mountain. How does he do that? Whatever. I guess they have, like, airmail or something. Oh, come on! What? What do you need? My master, we have learned to make clothes from the fleece of our sheep. This fleece is very warm and could be useful to any land as cold as Itos. So, yes, you have... You might want to take this with you ASAP, because this is a very important item for later. You're gonna have... You're gonna have to use it to solve yet another dilemma. And thankfully, this is, I believe, is just the only dilemma that you'll have to deal with. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Alright, let's see what we got here. Gonna take this. Guess I'll take the strength of Angel and the bomb, too. Do, 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 do. But yeah, looks, this place, this place should be fairly easy once you get, like, three of the four monster layers out of the way. I mean, you pretty much won't have to worry much about what to do next, and definitely won't have to deal with that damn skull layer. God, man, those things are, like, annoying as hell. If you don't believe me, just let them fly around for about a minute. You're gonna start regretting keeping them alive in the first place. Sup, buddy? How you doing? You sad that all your friends are dead? Are you sad that you're the only monster layer left around here? Oh, you're trying to be quick and snappy now, aren't you, fucker? Alright, so we're gonna, while these people slowly build up their town, I'm gonna slowly kick this thing's ass over here. Do, do, do. Fuck you, lightning dragon. But yeah, this, this should be pretty sm this shouldn't be much longer until we get s to the next action scene, which I'm definitely kinda looking forward to, but at the same time, I could possibly die quite a damn bit. Because, yes, 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 there's more death pits. Fucking hell. I mean, you can d obviously guess where I might have to go on this map. Do, 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 do. Come on, people, build for me. Build! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I just gotta get two more paths going here. Oh, don't even start this mess. I think all I'm gonna do is only use another strength of angel on this. So I, that way I just need to make one shot as opposed to three. Man, those pop tarts are kicking my stomach's ass. Look. Stop! Sh shut up, stomach. Stop talking. I know that you didn't like breakfast, but you don't need to express it in a very gurgle sense, God. D shut up! Damn it, stomach. Do 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 do. Come on, come on. Get your path over here. Get your path over here. Gosh, man, this is just coming to be a tedious fact, so I'm gonna speed up the video here, guys. It's only a matter of time until this monster layer is all but doomed. Do 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 But yeah, I'm kinda glad this place is a lot smaller than everything else. You you dumb people, you dumb building. Yup, there we go, fuck yeah, beat that thing with hammers. Set the explosives. 
do 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 And then we got a nice big boom, yeah. And that's the last monster layer to be sealed. Fuck yes. Okay, Sir Wardler, the silver li Yes, I know, Angel. Every time we come we kill two monster layers, it goes up by- or the civilization goes up. And why are people upset now? What now? What's going on? Oh, Master, please save us! The old dormant volcano has suddenly erupted! We can hear monsters' footsteps! How can you hear monsters' footsteps in eruption? Our town's outtips would not only be destroyed by the eruption, but also by monsters. Oh no, that's pr actually quite scary, but... Yeah, I worry about just the fact of you being destroyed. Can you come down and fight for us, the men who have given their lives to sealing the monster layer? When you put it that way, though, I will definitely do that. Then again, I was going to do it anyway. Jeez. So as you can see, you get greeted with this nice, wonderfully animated scene where fire rains down upon your people, so it kind of provokes a, provokes action a little bit more than, say, like, Oh, the Minotaur is going to come out of a hole. Well, he can take his lovely-ass time, because I'm still building up this town, bitches. So yeah, that's basically what's causing issues here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, kick some ass in Ito's Act 2. But I'm going to see if I can... Nope, I still got the same two. Shit. So I think I'll take Magical Stardust and Angel shut the hell up about it. No, I don't want to take more. I wonder why he always says, You're quitting again? It's like, when did I start quitting in the first place? Nevertheless, if we destroy all the monsters in this area, people will no be, longer be scared of evil. Sir Warlord, are you ready? Yeah, I am. May luck be with you. Okay, see ya. And I get pushed into a volcano. Fuck. Okay, now we're in Act 2. This place is definitely a lot dangerous. Or was actually not a lot dangerous. It's a lot shorter, I will say. For one thing, you have these less annoying enemy, or these less painful enemies, and you also have this guy that likes to shoot out fireballs in the X-Light formation, or for those who are very picky about the old x nox thing, uh, cross formation, oh god. So yes, you gotta watch out for these guys, and you have this eyeball that will turn into like a single one and try to do like a little cold stare kind of thing, I don't know exactly, wart or cold stare or something. Nevertheless, those guys are slightly annoying, but not too bad. Oh, fuck you. But yeah, this first act, or this first section shouldn't be much of a problem. I haven't really had many issues here, honestly. Mmm, mmm, come on, buddy. Damn it, stop somehow looting my freaking, like, my freaking sword slash. And then we have this section, which can be very dangerous for those that don't know what to do. For one thing, you do not want to stick to the lower platforms, because they'd like to take a dip in the lava, and you know what that means. Insta-death. So you want to jump to the third, four, third, and fourth platforms, and fucking dickwad had to knock me in the fucking lava. Ass. God, man. Can the game stop trolling? Slightly. Okay, so as you can see, this place can be a bitch, and it will throw you back here if you die in that room. Gonna love that logic. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, so enough about that. More about this level. But once you get through these wonderfully two sections, wonderfully two dangerous sections, you actually are near the end of this uh, level, actually. Because this level is definitely the shortest Act 2 in the game, I believe. There's not too much to really go for it, except for the fact that you can die multiple times, and there are no extra live pickups, so that makes it a little bit... Thank you, the Master. You could've slashed that dude before he did his little stab-you-in-the-face motion. Oh, fuck, that was close. Fucker! Mmm, hate your ass! Okay, so you want to jump over here pronto, so you don't, so that you don't get dropped down, dipped down in the lava. And then we have this annoying douchebag that's just gonna do this the whole time. But here's the here's the trick of this fight. He's gonna do this when he when you get closer. What a fucking douche! So he's pretty much gonna play wrong long range bullshit. So kill him quickly before he goes all the way to the other side of this room, <coughs> past all these little bridge spots. Really annoying, but there's not much you can do about it. 
And then we get to meet his freaking brothers there over here the whole damn time. But luckily these guys are a lot easier to deal with, because they decide, hmm, we should probably stick on these ledges. Uh, you know the, so the master has this range that is incomprehensible to you wherever you are in front of him? No, I didn't consider that. We get this nice old scroll that we can use on the damn boss. <coughs> And then we get through this wonderful section and meet up with these flamethrowers. These are the most damaging things in this level. If you hit those flames, yeah, four fucking damage is not very good. So you want to make sure to get through here without getting fucked up. And you want to make sure to pick up this apple, because if you don't, it's going to be pretty sickening for the next fight, where you, you have to fight this very tricky boss in terms of not getting hit. I kid you not, this boss is just all over the damn place. Let's meet the boss! It's a flame wheel, what the fuck? And this guy's really damn annoying. Oh fucking hell, because he's all over the damn place. So try to get your hits in. Try not to get hit, or try to figure out his pattern most importantly. For one thing, he likes to do this thing called bouncing up onto the pop platform if you're on there. And this is how I suggest taking care of the battle. If he's rolling around the bottom, you get a slash in, jump over him twice, get another slash in, jump over him twice. If you prefer this method, which I would definitely suggest, and if the boss decides to follow along and not be a douche, uh, this gives him in a situation where he can hit him multiple times. And if you're getting really tired of this boss's shit, just get in the center and use some of this shit. Fuck yes! And that should usually kill him on the first or second use, depending on how much damage it does. Sometimes it does something, sometimes it does a lot. So that's kind of nice, and good place to pick your uh, spot to leave your statue, the master. It's like, the master came here, kicketh the, the ass, and left without a word. Pop! Okay, we're done with this place, I would say. At least, not done with the whole, uh, normal stuff. Now I'm gonna have to turn into... Okay, all the monsters... Yes, that's cool, that's cool. Thank you for taking care of us. We can now take care of ourselves. Well, I can believe that. You were kicking a lot of monster layer ass earlier, even though some of your people were dying. So yes, Itos will not have any problems in the future. I think there's pretty much all that there is to it from what you saw, guys. Very little interaction with Itos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build up these this place, give it the max population after I clear all these rocks and trees out and everything. And then uh, next time, guys, hey, another level up, sweet. Level 12 and 19 HP, fuck yes. Okay, and population needs to get to 2,900. Okay, that's cool. So yep, guys, next time we're going to see what a max population town looks like. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and adios. Do, 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 do. Hey, what, wait, why are you guys still watching? It said adios.